and I am most pleased to address you on the opening of this, the second Nature Island Literary Festival and Book Fair. When this festival started last year, within the Reunion 2008 program, some of us were a bit skeptical as to its viability and what I will call its success potential. Books and reading did not seem an obvious choice of subject for a festival. Many people associate books and reading with academics, school teachers, exams, and the intelligentsia. Besides, there is a notion that Caribbean people generally don't read or do not like to read, even if we can read. This latter point is substantiated by the poor sales in most bookshops, and the owners will confirm that their biggest sales are of textbooks rather than novels, biographies, documentaries, and Lord forbid, poetry. In other words, creative writing and literature is at the bottom of the list in book sales. So how could a literary festival make any sense? Who would come? And of those who came, how many would stay awake? The whole thing seemed ludicrous. But last year, we were in such a celebratory mood that we were ready for festivals of any and every sort. We had fish festivals, flower festivals, crab festivals, pork festivals, goat festivals, rabbit festivals, and even TTW festivals and various others. So why not a literary, literary and book festival? It couldn't hurt. Well, what can I tell you? Just take a look around you right now and tell me if this festival worked last year or not. And even before it has really started, look at the program and names of world-renowned readers and the presenters and tell me if you think if it will work again. Although I have done this before, I wish once more to publicly commend the organizing committee for initiating this festival, which has ushered us in a new interest in books and reading and the art of creative writing. You did a great job last year, and I am certain you will do the same this year. The importance of reading cannot be overemphasized. And in these days, when young people have so many alternative choices of entertainment, it is good to know that there are people who know how to make reading and literature hip again. And it only takes the reading of one good book or having a conversation with one good writer to open up the exciting world of the creative imagination which never ceases to reveal its wonders once you have entered. The potential economic aspect of this cultural industry must not be ignored either, as we recognize the impact of festival tourism in the Caribbean and the growth of publishing and bookmaking as a viable career choice for our people. The book fair aspect of this event, therefore, must take equal place with the performances and readings. At the Nature Island Literary Festival, even in these two short years, we have already been honored to have in our midst some of the world's finest, finest writers 
starting with Nobel laureate Derek Walcott last year. This year, we are pleased to welcome to our shows Mr. Earl Loveless, Mr. Colin Chana, Mr. Kwame Dawes, Mr. Adrian Ogier, Ms. Asha Loveless, Ras Aja, Ms. Janet Scoby, Mr. Rudy Langley, Ms. Karen Longley, and Ms. Mary Elena John Smith. Many of you coming to the Nature Isle for the first time. Welcome. 